Yo guys, in today's video we are trying to get 3000 medals, even maybe higher, but the most important fact is just Carter Legend is back on YouTube trying his best and if you don't want to miss any kind of season end content just make sure to subscribe to the channel because my goal is getting a top 10 finish as always so maybe there's coming a video in case I, I manage to get it so I think subscribing to the channel is worth it. Carter Legend is back on YouTube, I, I needed some, some time, sometimes you're having a good time, sometimes you're having a bad time. But it is how it is. Now we are back and we are playing against Victor. So let's just see how we can handle Victor's queen. We are playing a Lava Hound in the back. Same lane. All right. He's getting down with an interesting play by himself. Now he's probably using his, uh, his ability. But it's okay, I guess. It's okay. I don't think his queen is... Uh, <sighs> okay, Queen Queen survived a lot. This is a negative, negative, pretty negative fact, but I'm getting my Phoenix. Now I'm just pressuring same lane with everything. He might have his cannon. Alright, he's playing his his lightning, but I'm still having my mighty now he's zapping this whole whole um bear thing. In my opinion, I didn't play it good. His queen just took too much value onto me, but I also had nothing like a tombstone. I can't remember that I had a tombstone against his queen, so I'm not sure how I should have handled this situation better. That's sometimes just a big problem of having a beatdown deck. You can't fix your cycle that fastly, but I take that. Now his Dark Prince is also just taking down my tower also a negative effect but anyways now just playing my next lava balloon phoenix combo you guys can see that he failed his cannon this is important now just keep pressuring with drakes now just playing the zap queen probably is just dying i'm taking everything down let's just go guys i know the start was bad as i just said i could have done some things better i guess but we have to take it how it is. So my mighty is just coming down. Tombstone is ready to rumble. So Tombstone is also just coming down right here. Mighty is taking good care of the Dark Prince. That's how things should be. Should be. Phoenix is also taking care of the Dark Prince because he used his, his NATO ability. And now I might get a Queen ability. Am I getting a Queen ability? No, I'm not getting a Queen ability. So, okay. Next drakes are coming in. Is that coming down a lightning ability right now? I'm not sure. I mean, how should he defend my 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 pups? There's no possibility for him. So I managed winning against E Giant. Even he had the queen and he had the baby drake. So I'm pretty pretty happy about that. We got just plus 20 medals. It's not much, but it just brings us a little bit further to the 3,000 medals. So right now. We just need 40 more, so I think this is a good goal for today's video. Alright guys, now being in the next game. I just lost so stupidly against Lockbait right now, so it's not worth putting this also into the video. So in case I'm losing against Lockbait, it's no big deal for me showing it to you guys. But I just played so stupidly that it's not even worth showing you guys. But I still want to be honest, I lost against Lockbait. Now let's focus on winning against Yoba, Ni, King. And he played his wall breakers first, or not the first play, but nearly first play out of the hand. I'm getting, I'm not getting the egg. Okay, interesting. I'm also not understanding what kind of deck he's playing. So still in the, I'm still in the fair in the, in the in the time of the game right now, where I'm just just trying to find out what he's playing. So he has, he has a small lead because I guess he's already knowing what I'm playing. Anyways, now let's just focus on winning this game. Uh, it's time for predicting a miner. I think it's yeah okay. Miner is coming opposite lane, so I'm coming down with my own mighty miner, defending the whole stuff. For sure, mighty miner is not the best option for defending goblins, but still kind of damage lead for us at least damage even for for us. Because yeah, my both towers are at 3000 HP. His left tower is also on 3000 HP. So in case we are getting onto a 1-1 situation, for sure, 
he would have been or he would have already a damage lead, but it's not an one one situation yet, so still everything the same for all of us. So his Phoenix is coming down. Um kinda interesting. It's time for high drakes for myself, I guess. B -b 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 now it's time for the next mighty miner, just the same as it was before. Chilling, checking what he's playing, answering on what he's playing. Kind of boring for some of you guys, but this is just also sometimes part of the game. Now it's time for using the ability, good ability in my opinion, killing both of the wall breakers is worth it, is worth it. So Lava Hound is coming on the bridge. Unfortunately, my Phoenix is, Phoenix is not walking onto the might, onto, onto his miner. This would have been a big dream for myself, but I ta still take that. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Phoenix is coming in right here. I'm am I getting a second hit? Yes, guys. That's big. That's big, and that's how Carla Legend loves it. Alright, his tower is tanking onto my Phoenix, so I'm getting all of the pups connecting onto his tower. His tower is just on fireball range, so this is a perfect game how you should play against wallpackers. I know he's just playing with the Phoenix, not with an with Inferno tower for example, also with lightning, so kind of good matchup, but still good matchup, I'm proud about it, so I'm also showing you guys. Alright guys, being in the next game, playing against g -Raffle. um, and just zapping two spear goblins on the left lane, it's a good 2 for 2, for two, for two trade. Having my tombstone, having my drake, some skeletons are ready for taking care of the mighty. He sent his mighty opposite lane. Now I'm just defending within Phoenix, getting less than 100 damage. So we'll take that. We'll take that. Next mighty is right here. Welcome. Next. Zap also took care of the wall breakers, just chilling or answering on all of the on all of the stuff my opponent is doing. That's the situation in which we are right now. So next tombstone is coming in as well. Onto his mighty miner. So his mighty miner can't do anything against against my my towers and just just chilling or just just still chilling against my opponent. Now I'm Pink playing a Lava Hound might be a good play. Maybe I'm getting a minor bats combination, for example, or something like that. Okay. Wow. This is annoying, guys. This is annoying. Is he sending his mighty miner opposite lane? Or is it just a 1-1 one -one situation? Yeah, okay. He's sending his mighty miner opposite lane, but luckily there's a welcome. Uh, there's a Phoenix by myself. So hello Phoenix. His bats are taking a, or doing a bad job against my against my lava hound, so I think no need for defending that. Just zapping the <clears throat> spear goblins right now, and this is a good one one situation for sure. I got a little bit more damage than he got onto onto myself, but still a good kind of even situation. As I just said, maybe a little bit better for him, but. We are playing a beatdown deck, so Carl is not worried about that. Phoenix is coming in. Um, Fireball is coming in as well. So now getting in with some Drakes. Getting in with a Balloon. Right here. And just chilling. And maybe he's playing a Zap right here. So I'm getting a lot of damage by my pups. He's, he's still forced for... Playing with some more, okay, he didn't play the some more bats, but it's okay. I mean, I'm getting more damage because of that. Oh, that's the reason why I'm getting some more damage. So, next drakes are coming in. Next mighty miner is just uh, kiting the his mighty miner a little bit more back. My lava hound is hopefully tanking for my egg. Am I successful? I'm not successful, guys. Big L for myself. Still using the ability, bad ability, we have to be honest. Zap is coming in. Am I getting the connection? Yes, I'm getting the connection I wanted. I'm also getting the second connection, so the start wasn't good. We still managed to come back and that's a good thing. So a gameplay which is worth it for you too.
All right, guys, now let's just try finishing today's video just with a perfect game for sure. Today's video didn't went really good. For sure, we won some games, also we lost some games. We didn't claim any kind of trophies, but still there were some good games by myself. So now he's just PMing me. A good advice by myself, just turn off, just, just turn him off in case he's, he's PMing you too much. All good, good defense. Lava Hound is coming in. Now I have to get down with my mighty miner on the goblins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you really want to play go a mighty miner on goblins? Or is this just a bad answer? I think this is a bad answer. Phoenix is coming in. And it looks like as he's playing a magic archer deck, for example. Exactly what I was expecting. So that's why he was just spamming. That's why he was just spamming good game, for example. Because he has kind of no possibility. Yeah, he kind of has no possibility uh, for defending that. So, I take that. Zap is coming in. No goblins connecting onto the tower. Alright, guys. I take that. <clears throat> so, he's playing the Remy L deck probably. Just, just, or he just re uh, switched his the skeletons. To the goblins, but the rest is just the, the Remy Ali deck, and we don't have to discuss about the fact that the Remy Ali decks or that I have a good matchup against the Remy Ali deck. Now I had Fireball the Wall Breakers because it's just time for playing kind of safe, fireballing some Wall Breakers for sure. It's a 4 to, four to 2 trade, but nothing which I can't afford. So, um. Okay, guys, he has some strange lands, some strange ideas. Uh, uh, two soldiers coming in. I, I always have to overcommit on defending wall breakers, but still, I'm into the game, and as I just said, I, I can't lose that game. It's just too good matchup. The matchup is just too good for me that I can lose that. So, Zap is coming in. Now I'm using the ability for killing the wall breakers, boosting the Valky away. Oh, just onto my, my mighty miner again. What a good defense by myself. Now we have what we wanted. We have my big lava hound on the field. Skeletrax coming in. Just using the ability again, killing some goblins. That's what we want to see. And it's all good guys. Zap is coming in right now. We have my lava hound. We have my Skeletrax for shipping some damage onto the right lane. So now we are in a state of the game. I think it's the first time that Card Legend is on a damage lead. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time Card Legend is on a damage lead. And we're getting the connection. Yes, yeah, yes guys, it's 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 me, it's it's, it's Card Legend. So Mighty's coming in. I got the Skelly Drakes on the field. And as I just said at the beginning, Carter Legend is back. Carter Legend is trying his best at season end in a good meta for Lava Hound. So in case you don't want to miss that, just make sure to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. I think tomorrow already with an 2023 XXL Lava Loon Guide. Bye guys.